हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर सिक्सटीन ऑन ग्रुप थियोरी इन दिस लेक्चर आल्सो वी विल डिस्कस टू मोर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन सब ग्रुप्स सो फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विथ दिस प्रॉब्लम शो दैट द सेट ऑफ ऑल एलिमेंट्स ए ऑफ ए ग्रुप जी विथ बाइनरी ऑपरेशन स्टार सच दैट ए स्टार एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स स्टार ए फॉर एवरी एक्स बिलोंग्स टू जी इज ए सब ग्रुप ऑफ जी so that means uh, we have to consider those elements of a group G those type of elements are denoted by small a so we are considering those elements of group G such that they commute with every element of G that is a star x equal to x star a for every x belongs to g so we are given this set and we have to show that this set is a subgroup of g so again we repeat we are considering those elements of g which commute with every other element of g a star x equal to x star a that is commutative property and uh, this a is that type of element such that a star x equal to x star a for every x belongs to g now we want to show that this is a subgroup of g so as we know first we have to show that uh, this set is non empty and after that we have to show that if a and b are any two elements of h then a star b inverse must be in h so let's try to prove these two things first we consider uh, we show that h is non empty set so we know that if we consider identity element then uh, we know that by the definition of identity if we consider e star x and x star e then they are both equal to x so this is true for every x belongs to g by the definition of identity so identity element commutes with every element of g therefore identity element satisfies the condition for becoming a member of this set h so we can write that identity belongs to h and therefore this h is a non empty subset of a group g now we consider any two elements in h and we show that a star b inverse is also in h so let a and b be any two elements in h so therefore we will have a star x equal to x star a for every x belongs to g and b star x equal to x star b for every x belongs to g so then a star x equal to x star a for every x in g we can give this number 1 and because b is also a member of h b will commute with every element of g so for every x in g now we want to show that a star b inverse is in h so a star b inverse is in h if a star b inverse commutes with every element of g so this we have to prove a star b inverse star x equal to x star a star b inverse so we will Uh, start from this left hand side and we will show that this is equal to this one before that uh, we require some another uh, extra thing so that we obtain from this equation 2 so here we take inverse of b on left hand side as well as right hand side here we consider b b inverse star b star x star b inverse and here also uh, we consider b inverse 
star x star b star b inverse because b is an element of h and therefore it is an element of g so therefore b is invertible so we can apply inverse of b on both sides of both the left hand side as well as right hand side now because g is a group we can take benefit of associative property so we are applying associative property here and using associative property simultaneously we can rewrite this as b inverse star b star x star b inverse similarly here also multiply uh, applying associative property more than one time uh, we can rewrite this as b inverse star x star b star b inverse so this we are doing using associative property associative property using associative property now this is going to be identity element b inverse star b that is identity element star x star b inverse equal to b inverse star x and this is also identity by the definition of inverse and by the definition of identity e star x star b inverse is x star b inverse and same thing here b inverse star x star e equal to b inverse star x and this is true for every x belongs to g so we will require this equation so we give this number 3 so now we try to prove that a star b inverse is also a member of h so this is member of h if a star b inverse star x equal to x star a star b inverse so we start from left hand side and we will show that it is equal to this so with this in mind uh, we can start with left hand side so now a star b inverse star x where x is any element of g so this we can rewrite as by the associative property this can be rewritten as a star b inverse star x this is using associative property or we can write using associativity now using this equation we can write b, b inverse star x equal to x star b inverse so this is x star b inverse using 3 so that is the reason why we proved this equation 3 so that we are using here b inverse star x equal to x star b inverse now again we apply the associative property so we rewrite this as a star x star b inverse so here we have used again associative property or associativity of binary operation star now a star x is nothing but x star a for every x belongs to g because a is a member of h so now that we use here so this uh, a star x is now replaced by x star a star b inverse this is by 1 and again using associative property uh, we obtain that this is equal to x star a star b inverse so this is using associativity or associative property and all these equations are true for every x belongs to g so we started with a star b inverse star x and we obtain x star a star b inverse so therefore a star b inverse star x equal to x star 
a star b inverse for every x in g so therefore a star b inverse is also a member of h so we have shown that if we take any two elements a and b in h then a star b inverse is also in h this shows that h is a subgroup of g so in this way they can ask you this type of problems now sometimes instead of writing this uh, a star x equal to x star a they can simply write this equation as a into x equal to x into a instead of writing a star x they consider simply a into x equal to x into a so that is also a valid so be careful sometimes they can ask you in this way also that prove that h equal to a belongs to g such that a into x equal to x into a for every x belongs to g is a subgroup of g so instead of writing a star x equal to x x star a this is also valid this notation is also frequently used instead of writing every time star they simply write a x equal to x into a so where the operation is uh, as per the given problem so if they ask the problem in this type of notations then we will write our answer in this way we will show that if a b belongs to h then instead of writing a star b inverse we will simply write a into b inverse belongs to h so remember this both type of notations some authors are using instead of star they are using simply multiplication notation but it is not multiplication notation but they are using instead of writing a star b they are simply writing a into b so both are valid if your question is asked in terms of star then you use star operation or if it is asked simply in this type of notation then use that notation we consider one more problem let g be an abelian group with identity e prove that h equal to those elements of g such that x square equal to e is a subgroup of g so here x square means x into x so here operation star is not used so they can ask you in this way also instead of writing x square they can write x star x also but here this notation is used so instead of writing star we will use this notation so uh, you must understand both type of notations okay, here i mention in another way also the same question can be asked in this notation also prove that h equal to x belongs to g such that x star x equal to e is a subgroup of g so both are the same things either we write h in this form or in this form both are the same things here this star notation is not used here they are using this notation instead of writing x star x they are writing x into x as x square so we prove this uh, problem in this notation this multiplication notation and it is given that g is an abelian group with identity e so first we mention that given that g is an abelian group with identity e and uh, we have to prove that the subset of g having elements having those elements such that 
x square equal to e or x into x equal to e or x star x equal to e is a subgroup of G. So first we have to show that H is a non-empty set. So we know that G is a group with identity E. So we, if we consider E into E, we must have E because E is the identity because E is the identity of G. Therefore, E square equal to E. Therefore, E belongs to H and therefore given subset is non-empty. Now we consider any two elements in H. So we take two arbitrary elements. Let X, Y belongs to H and we have to show that to prove that x star y inverse instead of star notation they are using multiplication notation so we consider x into y inverse belongs to h now x into y inverse is in h if x y inverse square equal to e so now uh, we start with square of x y inverse So this we can rewrite as x y inverse times x y inverse. Now using associative property uh, we can rewrite this as x times y inverse x here y inverse. Now it is given that g is an abelian group so we can replace uh, this y inverse x by x into y inverse because g is abelian therefore uh, we have y inverse x is equal to x into y inverse and this we can rewrite as x into x using associative property y inverse into y inverse this is nothing but x square this is nothing but square of y inverse and the square of y inverse can be rewritten as inverse of y square and x and y are members of h therefore uh, we can write x square equal to e and y square equal to e the reason is because x and y are elements of h therefore x square equal to e y square equal to e and inverse of E is E itself and E into E is E. So we have shown that square of X Y inverse is also E. Therefore X Y inverse square equal to E. Therefore X Y inverse must be in H. So therefore we have shown that if we take any two elements in H then x into y inverse is also in h therefore h is a subgroup of g so in this way we can easily show that given set is a subgroup of a given group now one more thing i have to add is if uh, your set is given in this type of form h equal to x belongs to g such that x star x equal to e then uh, instead of uh, using that earlier notation uh, we have to prove that uh, we have to write in this way x star y inverse belongs to h uh, we have used instead of x star y inverse we have written in this notation x y inverse so both are equivalent thing so whatever notation is given in your problem, you have to use that notation accordingly. So if your operation is star operation, then here uh, whenever we are multiplying two elements, that will be replaced by star operation. Otherwise things are same. So only the notations are 
different here we, they are given we are given this type of notation instead of star we are given multiplication notation that is x into x and in earlier problem our problem was in terms of star notation so we have used star notation a star x equal to x star a so this is all about today's session i hope you like it in the next session we will discuss some more problems on subgroups thank you very much